Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Steve Eldridge, your town manager, if you don't know me. Um, this is my sixth year here in the great town of Berwick. It's probably one of my favorite towns I've managed and a lot of good things happening, a lot of good people pushing hard to get some things done. Uh, I'll start first with the fire station update and the police department Sally Port uh, update. Uh, we're just about finished. Uh, we are waiting for an epoxy flooring um, material to be put down in the apparatus bay. But if you go by, you can see just what a great building it is. It's beautiful landscaping and um, really adds a nice touch to the town. But it's a very functional station. Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see it. We're doing a virtual tour uh, probably this month or November, uh, Chief uh, Plant. And Chief Town will do a walk through their areas and show everybody what we've done. And then once this pandemic uh, is hopefully over, uh, we'll have an open house for everybody to come in and see. Uh, we are having the old fire station, the current one that they're in, uh, appraised. And come January, uh, we have a special town meeting on January 5th, and there's a warrant article for the legislative body to approve that the Board of Selectmen can sell that building uh, so we can put that towards the new building. We are taking the generator from there and that is going towards going over to the police station. Uh, it will uh, cover the whole station so they if we lose power. But uh, and once we get approval, the, the whole I, I'm assuming that it's going to be a, a bid process. So we'll see how that goes. But um, a lot of good work has been done over there. We're doing some clearing out and uh, putting, finishing up some sidewalk work, but that area is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen it, you should <clears throat> take a walk in and, and see what's been done. Uh, paving this year is almost done. We have another week, and the pavers are coming back to do uh, Long Swamp, a section of Long Swamp where the road is peeling off. Uh, it's a pretty bad section. Uh, we're just going to do a shim, a little bit of an overlay there to get us through the winter, and we'll come back to it. We did. Uh, Little River Road this year. Uh, that was a change from what we originally started with. We had looked at doing uh, Cranberry Meadow, but we decided, uh, hearing from some of the people who live on Little River Road, that we should take a better, a harder look at that and, and see that one section that was uh, pretty, pretty awful. So we tore it all up and rebuilt it, and uh, it's much better and much safer. Um, so that will be done, and we'll come back next year. Uh, and hopefully uh, have a whole new list of roads. We're, hopefully we're done rebuilding roads, which has been an expensive part of what we're doing, but we have some long sections that we're looking at. And uh, so we've got Jody, myself, and, and Robert Pershy, our foreman, are gonna revisit the 20-year uh, plan we had and, and do some changes. Uh, we have some MS4 projects going on um, in 22, 23, up on Moulton Street, uh, we've pushed that off because it's just very expensive right now. And um, we'd like to see the economy get a little bit better before we have to go out and borrow money for that because that's a $1.3 million uh, project that we have to do. But um, we take it in stride. Um, we met with uh, the main DOT, James and I and Jody. Uh, James has been working on a, a plan to redo the Moulton Street area, which is a MS4 area that we, and um, hopefully that will get taken care of when we do the Sawmill Hill Road, which is a CATS project. And we're gonna realign that, and 80% um, of that cost is uh, paid for by the state, and we'll have to pay for 20%. But right now we're in the design phase. Uh, after our last meeting, our meeting last week, and it will go out to bid in 2024, which is a ways off. Uh, but it's, it's, it'll be a nice project to get it done. If you haven't met uh, Jody Guion, he's our new public works and utility, water utilities director. He's jumped in feet first. You should probably see him around town uh, working on the hydrants with the staff there. Um, he's really... Uh, taking the bull by the horns, and he's going to lead the project of looking for out of water. We're, we contracted with Wright Pierce, and we met with their geologist about three weeks ago, and we should be hearing from him next week about possible aquifers where we can find another source of water and hopefully uh, 
eliminate the manganese issues that we've been having here for many, many years. He's also been looking at the infrastructure of, of, of the underground piping and stuff, and he's got a lot of things that he feels needs to be taken care of there too. You'll see them out and about, and uh, hopefully improving the water quality and, and making changes in our uh, infrastructure, which are needed. Um, we're hoping that when Great Falls Construction starts up their project, which is aiming for um, the spring of 2021, they're gonna be showing you their master plan at the end of the month to show you what they plan on building. And then they'll start uh, the planning board process November, December, and January, uh, which will take some time. It's a big project, um, but they're great to work with and, and they've worked with us hand in hand to get where we need to be to see some really nice uh, buildings put up and some changes. Um, besides that, the, uh, which I guess is enough, but we just finished our audit. We got it uh, back last week. Uh, it's up on the website. So if you want to see how we've been doing, it, it came in uh, very good. We have a healthy unassigned fund balance, which helps us get through the lean months uh, when we don't have uh, tax money coming in. But the staff has done a good job, department heads, in keeping within their budgets and trying to be conservative when it comes to projects so we don't spend too much. This year is, is a tough year just because of the pandemic and uh, people, um, we won't be seeing as much revenue from the state that we've you, uh, used to, as well as the school budget probably isn't getting as much as they usually do as well. So we all are tightening our belts and hoping to get through this pandemic and get back to normal. Um, right now, that's it. Staff here is very healthy. <clears throat> They're all wearing their masks and, and doing their social distancing. Um, so I think uh, we're in good shape for now. I hope you, you all stay safe and we'll see you in a couple of months and we'll have a whole list of things that we're doing still. Uh, thank you. <laughs>